you can now play New Vegas forever. Well, sorta, of, because this recently released quest mod is easily one that I now consider to be essential to my load order, as it has the possibility to completely change the way you progress through the Mojave Wasteland. Radiant Infinium adds job boards or terminals to various settlements throughout the Mojave, with each representing the needs of the faction or location they're in. By approaching one, you'll be offered a selection of Radiant Quests that come in eight different forms. Now when I say Radiant Quests, these aren't the annoying Fallout 4 type that will just clog up your inventory and are completely unrelated to the main story, as these Radiant Quests are largely location and faction specific, with one exception we'll get to later. So for example, just outside of the Mojave Express building in Prim, you'll be able to find one of these boards, which kind of operate most similarly to the Starfield mission boards. By interacting with one of them, you can do quests like hunting rad scorpions or other wasteland creatures, dealing with Viper or other raider faction leaders, or like a real courier, you can deliver packages to key faction appropriate figures in the wasteland. Now, because of their location specific quests, you don't have to worry about these requiring you to walk 8 minutes to get to your target. The radiant quests you pick up should all be in a small radius of the job board. Because of these job boards being spread incredibly well throughout the wasteland, what you'll often find happening in my experience is that you'll finish up one of these radiant quests and be close enough to another settlement with a board, you'll end up interacting with that one and picking up a few quests there, and eventually before you know it you'll be at Vegas. These quests are a great way to break up the usual flow of your typical New Vegas playthrough, as you'll be exploring areas you might not usually go to. We've mentioned three types of quests so far, those being delivery, hunt and kill quests but there's still five more types. Gather quests really test your knowledge. They'll see you retrieving some ingredients like prickly pears or other harvestable items. You'll need a certain amount of specific miscellaneous items to complete fetch quests that will also reward you with more cats than just simply selling them. Exterminate quests are for higher level characters and are an upgrade from the hunt quests. They'll see you clearing out some of the more notorious wasteland creatures, like death claws. And in a similar vein we have the elimination quests, which are higher level versions of the kill quests, and can see you dealing with some of the big names like Driver and Elfie or other individual creatures that have been tormenting the wastes. And then you finally have your Mojave Express deliveries, which are the exception to that local rule, and can see you quite literally crossing the wastes to deliver a package to pretty much whoever needs it regardless of their faction. These quests dynamically scale off of your level and the quest difficulty, so even if you're an endgame character, these will be a good source of not only faction rep, but caps and XP as well. But the best part is that you're essentially never gonna run out of these. Waiting 24 hours will see them refresh with a completely new assortment of quests for you to complete. So if you've run out of content in the game, this mod is going to be a never-ending supply. So yeah, I really recommend this mod, it's now a staple of my load order because of how it just breathes so much life into the game. It makes these settlements feel much more lively by making these areas feel, well, real and so much more immersive, like there's actual people living in them that regularly need stuff done. And don't just take my recommendation for this mod as it even got featured in a PC Gamer article. But anyways, that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, maybe consider liking the video, subscribing or maybe even joining these amazing people up here by becoming a channel member. With that being said though, I hope you've had a good day and um, yeah, bye.